The message is clear. Unless we improve the quality of math achievement in this country, we will not have the workforce required to lead the nation and lead the world. Today in New York City, 20% of the students are proficient in mathematics. That is a recipe for disaster, and it's no different in any one of the large cities across the country. Our work is to try to encourage school districts to change what it is that they're doing, to look at research, to look at who is doing this much more effectively than the United States, and that's one of the reasons we asked Charlie to come from England, to share their improvement in the quality of student achievement based on their work with Shanghai. What we've done in, in England, we've, we've managed to look at mass education in, in the Far East, particularly in Shanghai, and really learn from that. We haven't just said, oh, we just want to do what they do. We, we've, we've looked at what happens in Shanghai and thought, we can, you know, we can certainly improve what we do in England based on learning from here, but obviously we have to develop that to work in our own culture. But we can really learn from that. And I think that, the, you know, communication between different, different nations around this kind of thing. I mean, education is so important. And if we can learn from each other how to get it right, then we certainly should be doing that. Their teachers are very well educated. They have lowered the student-teacher ratio in Shanghai. It used to be 50 children in a classroom. Now it's more like 25 and they stay with their children for two to three years so the teachers know the children well they know their achievements they know where their challenges are and so each year they can build on what has happened in the previous years in the united states we know that mathematics is not a cherished subject for teachers at the elementary school level they take maybe two courses most take only one at middle school, 40% of the teachers have neither a major or a minor in mathematics, and yet they're teaching mathematics. As long as 14,000 school districts choose the curriculum that they're going to use, choose how to educate their teachers and what expectations to have for their teachers, we are nowhere near what Shanghai has been able to do. Well, I hope that um, I hope that, that I'll have learned something which I can I can help to improve mass education in England based on what I've learned from being here. But I also hope that people have learned from my input here to help improve education, you know, elsewhere and particularly in, in the U.S. I think that there's you know there's there's lots of positive things that can come from this this kind of interaction.